Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode, well, originally I was going to say episode 1, season 2, but screw it, we're going to just say episode 13 of Spy Classroom. Um, of course, we know how 12 ended with the first half of the show. Um, I just wonder how the hell this is going to go next. Like, ooh, th there's a lot of things that could happen, but other than that, it's got to get started in 3 Two, one, go. Oh, wait, take two. Three, two, one, go. There we go. God, I, you know, I miss his voice, but it's, it's fun. He's in Bleach! So how can I miss his voice? It, I'm about, this is about to be like, what, show three? When the other one comes. But still, three shows with him in it. Like, ugh. But still, he, he's not in that rubble. Because that seems a little too easy. Now, of course, what we're seeing right now is the shit that we thought we were going to see with what the other three were... What? No. Four. I think it's four. Three or four. The other girls. So, like, Lily and the rest of them. But we're not going to talk about the elephant in the room, though.
Yeah, but little did you four know. All of it. And that's the reason why Lily's room is... <laughs> oh, are you sure about that? Oh. Don't be rude to him. <laughs> hey, sweet. No. Uh -uh. So, you know, good job. Uh oh. Oh, that's my pretty hair. All three of my pretty hairs. How oh, should we get even seventeen? Mm. Um, and I think what the fuck. Okay, let's see her.
Guessing you owe everything to her? No, oh, baby. Oh, of course not. Right?
Nothing. There's nothing. Mm-hmm. Well, because remember, she does have amnesia, so she's not going to think of anything else. Oh my god. We we know this is gonna be bad. And Lily's gonna be pissed. We already saw that Lily was pissed in the beginning of the episode. <laughs> Meaning the only other place. All right. And they messed up Lily's room. Aaron, am I getting the he come? Oh. My bad luck, baby. Oh my god. Please. <sighs> Very unhinged. Which is good. I'm glad that they were able to complete the mission without a hunch or anything, but God! 
And so that's where we are now, where it looks like Thea is a traitor among them. Okay, so, and you know what, I kind of was still thinking this, because with the way the first half ended, with the thing of Thea being a traitor, like, what if, and, I, and I've been thinking about this for, like, the longest time ever since the show ended, what if it's just a big old lie? But Monica, Monica kind of has a little proof about her, but then at the same time, we don't have enough on her, but still, yes, Thea is very much... A solo type chick. Don't get me that wrong. But yes, like she does work well with Monica, Erna, and Aneto. Like very much. But at the same time, I think it seems like Thea just wants to always be on her own. And even in the moments where she's like, yeah, but what if like, you know, how Greta did this? Or Lily did this? Or Sarah did this? And such. But it, it even took her uh, the whole episode just to kind of bring everybody together. And Monica ended up finishing the mission in like three minutes. But who knows? Who who really knows? I feel like it's just, it, it has to be a facade. Something about this isn't right. Yes, it could be true, but something just tells me, like, my gut instinct, I don't think it's it's true. I don't think Thea is, you know, the traitor. It, it could be. My money, if it's not her, maybe it's Monica. It would kind of make the most sense because... Her arguing Right, and hopefully we get an episode explaining more about her. Hmm? It's uh, uh, okay, okay. Oh, uh, you're just making me gonna have to wait till next Thursday. Okay. You just drop the ball right then and there. But I like, hear, wait till next Thursday. Yes, that uh, she's <laughs> Annette's mom. Da -da -da, that's her child. Ma'am. Hold everything. But yeah, going back to the, you know, if Thea is the traitor. But uh, as I said at the same time, like having Monica and Thea, like they, they bicker. They, their opposites attract. Like, yes, they work when they really want to, but at the same time, they don't really like each other as much. Or it feels very much one-sided where Thea kind of likes Monica, but Monica really doesn't give two issues about her and such. And so if it is Thea sending in information or secretly, quote-unquote, it's Monica, um, of course, Monica will possibly do everything in her power to be like, okay, no, 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 it's actually Thea doing all this. But in real life, she's secretly doing it without anybody noticing. Who, who even knows? And maybe this could just be a big out lie. There's a lot of things that are going to happen in the second half. But yes, I really hope with this next episode, focusing, I'm just going to call Anna to Anna. Um, Anna, she gets more backstory because out of, everybody really her monica thea and then maybe still up until she got her storyline in the first season erna already had hers um lily kind of neat in my opinion he's a little bit more because i mean of course she is our main girl 
who we're going to see majority of the POV of, but now we're getting everybody into POVs and such. We had literally Lily, Grete, um, Sarah, and Syl all get episodes all in the first half of the season. So only the only ones who were left were, well, and I can also say Erin as well, was Monica, Thea, and Anato. There were the only three. So it makes the most sense to get a little more backstory on those three characters and at the same time still establish more things with the rest of the girls. Because Greta got like three up three or four episodes focused on her. Syl got two episodes focused on her and such. And so hopefully the rest of the girls do get something. It was a little unfair because I'm guessing, you know, you have your favorites. Everyone clearly does. I mean, hell, I've seen it in Pretty Cure. Three of the girls in this show are voiced by Pretty Cures. So it happened even in the Pretty Cure shows that they were a part of where some of the girls got a lot more character development rather than the others. And they're kind of doing the same thing with this, which I'm still not mad at because, yes, I do have my own personal favorites as well. But even with the ones who are not my favorite, I still would like to see episodes focus on them because it's good to have everyone by the end of the series well developed and established instead of being like oh here's so much about these characters but so very little about these characters if you understand my gist but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 13 of spy classroom if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day enjoy the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all on thursday for episode 14 bye guys